Uh, hey, this is Commando, and I'm going to do a second video review for Mirror's Edge, which is going to be awesome. Now, first off, I'm going to talk about the graphics here. Okay, so the graphics, the graphics, the graphics. The graphics for Mirror's Edge are very neon and bright. The, you'll encounter dark spots, but 9% of the game is bright and colorful. There's lots of red. There's lots and lots of red in the game. They are... They're not all. The graphics are very good for their time. They're very pretty. Oh, the graphic. Ah, sorry, I'm messing up so much. The character designs and cutscenes are not very good though, because during the cutscene, it's like it's fucking cartoony. It's like a friggin' insurance commercial. That's exactly how the cutscenes are. Insurance commercial. Very weird for a AAA title. So you know like hand drawn. The characters are very well designed but some of the details aren't very good. Like some are shaded too much or whatever. Not not during the insurance commercial, but during the actual game. But on the bright side, the environments are very lively and go on as far as the eye can see. No popping textures and no glitches, which is pretty amazing. I give the gla graphics uh, 9.5 out of 10. Gameplay time. Okay. Game gameplay. The whole game is basically run or die, with a little bit of combat thrown in there. When you get to when you get running and moving, it just feels so right. The controls are easy and it flows smoothly. With other with some minor issues like the fact that they stole their elevators from Mass Effect. The elevators are long ride, man. They're long ride. Pull out a book or something when you're on an elevator. Long ride. Also, there are a few spots in the game where it pauses and says loading level with a little s thing spinning in the left corner, which is alright, but it kind of takes you out of the feel of running along rooftops like Spider-Man. But those two things aside, the combat is alright, you can disarm enemies and take their guns. The guns have barely any ammo in them, which is alright because you will barely be using them anyway just to clear out a couple guys or whatever, like two or three. You can do flying kicks, punches, jump on people's heads, etc. You can also slow down time to make it easier to disarm the enemy. Which is done by tapping Y when their gun turns red. To slow down time, you hit the X button when you have it. It shows, like your screen goes blue whenever you get a slow down time thing. So I'm going to give the gameplay a 10 because I love the running and the feel of it. And all, all that the combat may bring it down a little but not enough to take away from a 10. The game is about a, a solid 8 to 10 hour game on easy, hard about 15 hours. So yeah, a 10 out of 10. Story talk time. Uh, the story is average at best. You are some girl named Faith in this group called Runners, which run information to people through this constantly surveillanced future city trying to stay off the radar from the police. So the police are your enemy. Uh, it's kind of making you look like the bad guy. But you're the good guy. The police are the bad guys. What a twist. And you discover that your sister just happens to be a police officer. Uh, has been framed for murder and you spend the whole game trying to clear her name with some betrayal and stuff. But I don't want to ruin too much. So I give the story a 6.5 for being almost horrible. Uh, the dialogue is alright with some good conversations, but the voice acting is awesome. But the stuff they say isn't that interesting. Like, the talking, like, it sounds so real, but it's boring. I give that a 6. Enemies, which this won't count towards the final rating of the game. So, yeah. All your enemies throughout the whole game are the cops. And maybe a couple big guys with guns. But mainly the cops. And the bosses are usually beat by disarming them, and that's it. Which is sometimes hard. Some are hard, you know, the police with pistols are easy to disarm. It's like, it gives you so much time. The machine gun guys are harder. The shotgun guys are even harder than that. And the super mega huge ass machine gun heart is harder than the rest. But, if you're planning on punching people, a 3 to 4 hit combo will take out most of your enemies. You can get killed so easy by them, like it's... Two hits from a machine gun or a shotgun and you're back to your last checkpoint. So, you might wanna, if you're going low on health, run away. That's what the game's about. I can't talk about the time trials because it's 
just simply I didn't do any of them. But if you're into that sort of thing, you should check them out. Anyway, final rating of this game is a 7.5. Good game, but not very long. Good rinse. If you're going to replay it, the story and stuff, and do all the time trials again, then I suggest you buy this game. The achievements are pretty good, you know. You get an achievement for not shooting anybody the entire game, so that's a motivation to just run. I su I don't suggest you try and do this achievement on normal. That's what I did, and it, it's almost impossible. It's not impossible, it's, it's, it's hard. That's all I have to say. So anyway, 7.5. There you go. Good luck. And, uh, safe travels. And go try this game out.